Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to take a look at the voice commands. I've had a request through the uh, comments on YouTube um, to look at the voice commands and what you can do with them. So um, I'm going to do that in, in this video but I've gotten uh, the extra mile in, in, in this one in that I've created a mission to go along with some of the voice commands as well. So I'll link this mission um, in the description for anybody that wants to try it. We do have Overlord in this mission. It is used in the mission for voice commands, so I might get interrupted throughout this. Um, first of all, we need to um, leave the airfield. So our voice commands, if we go to the comms screen, all of the commands that you see on the comms screen here are all available um, through the comms system and you can access the comms system first of all uh, you want to be in PTT or push to talk on your comms it's always worth keeping it in PTT um, basically in multiplayer people don't want to hear everybody's background noise we don't want to hear you know, emergency vehicles going past or dogs barking or um, mum letting you know it's time for dinner um, so we should have our comms system on PTT push to talk and you can access push to talk on either the lapel or throat microphone so you press the trigger either hand under your chin and that will access the comms or if you have your hand on the flight stick you can press the bottom button on the flight stick and that will also open your comms so for the airfield first of all we need to communicate with the tower if we are doing a carrier takeoff or landing the contact will be carrier but we are at an airfield so it's tower then we let, need to let them know who we are so down here on the console in the FA26 I can see that I'm Alpha 11 so it's tower Alpha 11 and then our request so it's a request to take off um, if we have a VTOL vehicle you can also request a vertical takeoff you can also request things like departure so the voice command system is quite ambiguous it doesn't need exact commands it will pick up on keywords so you can play around and, and test as well and there's also a lot of different commands on the wiki uh, to give you an idea of, of the different command types that you can give so for instance I want to leave the airport so I'll get on the comms tower this is alpha 11 requesting departure Copy. Taxi to runway two zero. Runway two zero. Copy. Alpha one one. Okay, so let's taxi over there. Um, just why we are taxiing? Just uh, a little tip for people. He said runway two zero, and the runway number is the magnetic bearing of the of the runway. So. In this instance, uh, we were told by the air traffic controller, ATC, that our runway is runway 20. So what that means is the direction of travel of the runway, which is going to be this way, out to sea, is Alpha 200 one, degrees. Clear for takeoff at runway 20. Roger Tower, runway 20. So as I pull out onto the runway now, you'll see when I line up, when I straighten up. There we go. That my heading, I'm actually pointing at 198. So it's as close as it can be to 10s. It's rounded up in 10s. So 195 to 205 is 20. 200, 200. So that's where the runway numbers come in. So I thought that would be useful for someone. Can uh, help you up when you're can help you when you're lining up for your landings and things like that. If you know that your landing approach in this instance is two zero zero, I've just realised there's no flaps down, but I'm not heavy, so rotate. I can get up okay. Gear up, no flaps. For today's live fire exercise, so I'm not going to go through all these commands. You can listen to the voice commands. Targets. I know what's going on. So, wingmen, form up on me. You have two wingmen that will be yours to command. One wingman fitted for air to air, and another for air to ground. None of today's targets will return fire, so you have lots of time to get used to the commands. Start by telling your wingman to form up. You can use commands like form up or get information, but other variations on those commands will also work. Form up on me. Follow me. Rejoin me are some examples that work with your wingman. Try, wingman, 
Form up on me when you are ready. Copy. So I already gave them that command to, to form up. They should be coming round somewhere. Here they are coming up behind us. Um, also, I'm also just going to back off. for your wingmen to form up. Saying commands the... There is a single artillery unit on the island. You can request that your wingman take out the target by first locking the target with the targeting pod, and then saying, wingman, attack my target. You can also specify the target type. For example, wingman, attack this ground unit, or wingman, attack this artillery. You can stop an attack at any time, before the wingman have fired, by saying, wingman, disengage. Alpha 1-1, one, one, Overlord, Group Bra 3-3-4, three, three, 16, 9000, tracking east, lanes on Overlord. Thank you, Overlord. So we missed um, some commands there, but to start with, I want to attack this. So I'm just going to lock that target up, and with the target locked, all I need to, to, to do is tell my wingmen to attack it. Um, first of all, I need to increase my speed before we fall out of the sky. So I have the target locked, so all I have to do now is wingmen, attack my target. Roger, begin the attack run. Engaging the enemy. He's set up for air to air, so I don't know why he's doing that. Wingmen, attack my target. Roger, engaging. Um, are we too far out? We, we should be attacking. Wingman, rifle my target. Affirmative. Beginning attack run. There he goes. AGM away. I see the missile going. Wingman, form up on me. Negative, I can't do that. Wingman, disengage. Copy that. Wingman, form up on me. Affirm. So there was a few commands there, you'll get to, to know these through this mission, but when your wingmen are engaged on uh, other commands, they obviously won't take you on for that, so I couldn't get them to form back up. Um, I'm not sure why they were, were going like that to attack that target, we can't control exactly what the wingmen do. And there goes the target destroyed. So our next one, we're going to shoot down some planes, but before we do that, I want to go over a command that we skipped past there because I was talking. And that command is, let's get a little bit more speed, we're quite slow. And that command is, is different types of formation that we can fly in. I'm actually missing someone at the moment. Let's have a look on my nav where our, oh no, he's just in front of us somewhere. Autopilot disengaged. So I'll back off and keep my speed. I want to stay close to this waypoint. But now I've got both my wingmen, they're forming up on my left side, left echelon. And there are a few um, different commands. Let's get some altitude. There are a few different commands we've got for formation now. So these are these wingmen are in close formation. Thank you, Overlord. So we have choices for different formations. As I say, we can have a close, medium, or far formation. A close formation, also known as parade formation, uh, or spread close. A far, or a spread far formation, or a tactical formation, uh, will spread them far, and then you've got medium for somewhere in between. So at the moment, we are in uh, echelon left parade formation. So I could try wingmen tactical formation. Affirmative. So now we'll see them get a bit more distance between themselves now. So a tactical formation like this would be better going over, say, an airfield with lots of um, AAA. Uh, it's a lot harder for a Sea Whiz, for instance, to hit three planes when there's more distance between them. Um, whereas the anti-air that we're going to go at next we will be better with a close formation. Because with a close formation, you can confuse the radar into thinking you are a single unit rather than multiple units. So for, for distance, um, for BVR, basically, for like your AIM-120s and, and equivalent, having um, 
one blip on the radar as opposed to three as we could get now um, just means they can only lock one target so there's more chance of, uh, of an aircraft getting closer to them without getting locked up so to bring them in we can say spread spread close or wingmen for, uh, parade formation roger will do wingmen fingertip formation Overlord can give you locations for the closest hostile aircraft by saying Overlord, bogey dope. You can get a full overview by saying Overlord, picture. This will give you positions as relation to bullseye. A fixed location on the map, denoted by a green circle with a cross in it. You can also request that your wingman activate or deactivate their radar by saying Wingman, radar on, or Wingman, radar off. Find the hostile aircraft, lock them with your radar, and use your wingman to destroy the aircraft. Affirmative. So again, I know where these aircraft are, but Autopilot we could have used... Um, so let's just lock this target up so I know where he is. And again, I can say, wingman, attack my target. Roger, making the attack run. Weapons armed, engaging. I could also say something like, wingman, Fox 3, my target. Wingman, Fox 3, my target. Oh, I think he's already doing that, so he's not taking me up. Um, they will uh, tell you what they're firing as well, using the brevity codes. Um, so, Rifle, Magnum, Bruiser, um, Fox 1, the new missiles, Fox 2, uh, heat-seeking missiles, Fox 3, active radar Fox missiles. Three. There he goes now with his Fox 3. Um, so, he's going to take out those targets for me. I can also do things like uh, he mentioned there, tell them to turn off equipment and turn on equipment. So if I wanted to try and come in stealthily, I could maybe say, Wingman, radar off. And it's not listening for some reason. Wingman, radar off. Copy that. There we go, I wasn't being clear. So that's uh, Wingman turning off their radar, so they are now not sending out any radar signals. Wingman, radar on. Roger, boss. And that's a miss. Wingman, attack my target. That's a no from me. Fox 2. Wingman, attack my target. Copy, attacking your target. Enemy targets, weapons armed. Alpha 1 1, Overlord, Group Bra 0 4 4 8, 10,000, tracking south. Lanes on Overlord. There are several hostile targets around the enemy fleet, and micromanaging your wingman in a fight is not always easy. To give your wingman free reign to pick their own targets, you can say, wingman engage, or, wingman, weapons free. You can also be more specific by saying wingman, engage ground targets, or, wingman, engage air units. Remember you can stop their attacks at any time, by saying, wingman, disengage. Have your wingman clean up the targets while you stay in a standoff position. You can specify targets at any time, by locking the target, and requesting wingman, attack my target. You may need to wait for them to kill their current target, or tell them to disengage first, before they will switch to your target, if already engaged. Box 3. Target eliminated. So I did put uh, some cruise missiles in for this uh, aircraft carrier we did want to use them, but that's all you're loaded with. Um, Overlord has given us Grand Slam now, which is good. Uh, Grand Slam means there are no more enemy aircraft in the air. And the, the last part of this mission, as it was saying, we can actually just tell the aircraft to just engage hostile targets. Uh, for instance, if we're in a fight, we can't micromanage our aircraft wherever they are. So we've got an enemy aircraft down there. So what we can do in an area like this, we seem to have lost one of our wingmen up there, here he is coming back. Um, what we can do is just tell them to engage in general or be weapons hot. Um, and, and that generally just tells them to pick their own targets in the area of operation. You can also stop them attacking targets anytime by asking them to disengage. So if they are not uh, listening to commands, for instance, tell them to disengage first, then give them the command again. But for this one, Wingmen, engage hostile targets. Copy that. Target spotted, engaging. 
There we go, we are, we're now splitting off. They should be going engaging any of the hostile targets around here. And hopefully my cruise missiles yeah, destroyed the ship. So they shouldn't be taking that one out because uh, I found they were wasting a lot of ammunition trying to shoot that ship. But instead, uh, as I say, they should now just take on targets of their own. From here as well, I can also tell them what targets to shoot. Alpha 1 1 over Two two seven five nine thousand tracking east leans on overlord. Wingmen, attack my target. Copy, attacking your target. Shack, scratch one brown target. Rifle missile launch. Box three missile launch. Two enemies above us, which one is taking out, and we've got the ground target here, which our second one man should be taking out. Shack, scratch one ground target. That's a target down. Flash bandit. Excellent. So there are several other targets. There is only the one vehicle that you need to destroy to finish that mission, but I've put several other targets in for you to practice and play around with in this mission. Additionally, there is a carrier um, on the map and a, a fuel tanker for you to practice as well because you can tell um, your wingmen to either RTB, go and refuel, or go and rearm. So, for instance, I can say wingmen, RTB. Negative. And I still Missile attack. locked. Fox 2. Wingmen disengage. Affirmative. Splash. Another one bites the dust. Alpha 1 1 Overlord Grand Slam. Excellent. So, Overlord shouldn't be bothering us anymore. Wingmen RTB. Affirmative. Okay, so that's them going home. So, yeah, I've left the carrier in. And that's just because there are some other voice commands as well that you can use on the carrier. Uh, I'm not going to go through, uh, through those. You can try them out yourself on the map. Um, but as I said, if you wanted to land at the carrier, you would have to call the carrier rather than tower, which would be aircraft carrier Alpha 11 one, one, requesting landing. Alpha 11 one, one, tower, copy, fly heading 134. You can expect runway 26. Alpha 11 one, one, cleared to land on the carrier. So the other commands that we have on the carrier is first of all, we have wave off. So if you, um, you know, if you're not happy with your landing, you can wave off yourself. You don't have to wait for the LSO or, or landing signal officer to wave you off. Uh, and waving off can be handy in multiplayer missions uh, because if you screw up your landing, there may be somebody else waiting to land. Um, Bingo Fuel, for instance, or, or Winchester waiting to get back out into the fight. And when you wave off, you may wave off halfway through um, your approach. But when you wave off, it then gives clearance for the next person in the landing pattern to come into land. So, waving off can be useful. And the other commands that you have, one is useless at the moment. Um, the other one is ball. So, when the LSO um, calls, asks you to call the ball, what he is asking for is the green light on deck. Um, which is known as the meatball. Um, which is why they ask you to call the ball and it's uh, basically just landing instrumentation to tell you whether you're too high or too low uh, and then the LSO will tell you whether you are right or left so when the LSO asks you to call the ball your reply is Roger ball that just means you have a visual on on the meatball um, let's actually go and grab that and see if we can actually see it close enough line myself up. I'm just using the ILS to line myself up. Just bring it around. Just chasing the needle, keeping the point of the needle pointing to the tip of the orange line. This orange line is my uh, glide uh, approach path. 
Landing gear. Landing gear. And I'm uh, way above the climb slope. So I'm now lined up almost. But I'm above the glide slope. Now I'm below the glide slope. So as I get closer, as I say, you'll hear the LSO ask me to call the ball. And you should see a green light appear on deck. So I don't need to leave the carrier. So there's the green light, and I see the ball indicator. So Alpha One One, Roger Ball. Roger Ball. Now the other option we have um, is for low visibility conditions, and that is Clara Ball. So when you can't Power. see Ball, uh, yeah, so so when Land you can't up. see Ball, you you say Clara Ball. Wave off, wave oh, a bit off. too fast. Sorry, LSO. Three wire. Oh dear. Number three wire wasn't enough. Well, I'm going down. Left uh, but yeah, Clara Ball right is um, when you can't failure. see Ball, and if you say right Clara Ball, uh, the LSO left will guide you failure. in a bit more. Uh, right you know, come left, come uh, come left, come left right, up, down, failure. slow, all that kind of right stuff. So you've got failure. Clara Ball. Shush, Betty, I'm drowning. So those are all the voice commands I can think of off the top of my head um, if if you do want to uh, you know check out the wiki like I said there are a few different examples on there I believe um, it will it will be updated at some point I believe it's a little bit out of date um, on, on the wiki but the, the commands are on there and as I say I've made this mission there are uh, a little bit of voiceovers for guidance on what you can do and you can just generally just play around. It's a trading map, so you you have two wingmen, you have a carrier refueling station. Um, your bullseye is this symbol here. It's a green circle. I've just lost our battery power. Um, it's a green circle, um, and that's your bullseye as well. So when the um, overlord talks about bullseye, it means that position rather than you. Um, but otherwise, like I say, have a go on the map, have a play around, uh, set it up for voice commands. Um, the only other thing to say is if you don't get voice commands working, try opening um, another app on your computer and then clicking back into the main screen of the game and that should refresh your microphone to the game then. Um, but otherwise, um, that's what I know about voice commands. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.